Oh, the San Diego Credit Union Holiday Bowl. One of my favorite holiday bowls. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> is it? Mm -hmm. Of the holiday bowls, I like the one that is as widely, it has a brand that is as wide reaching as the San Diego Credit Union. I agree. Hey, everyone who's watching across the nation, if you're in San Diego, why not take out a loan? <laughs> Because that's what you should do for the price of living. Do you not trust big banks elsewhere in the country? Come to a mom and pop credit union down in San Diego. It's like putting your money in Mexico. Do you not trust smaller banks as well? Do you have the general for car insurance? Come to the San Diego <laughs> Credit Union Holiday Bowl. Mike Leach, Mike Leach actually gave us a lot, as in a little. In the pregame, or the days before the press conference, right. uh, listening to Mike D'Antoni, uh, Mark D'Antoni, excuse me, <laughs> Mark D'Antonio, the head coach of Michigan State. Always get those confused. Russell Wilson, Russell Westbrook, which one? So uh, anyways, I'll stop. Here's Mike Leach. A lot about this senior class, but last night they go through their last practice. I know a lot of them post the stuff about how emotional that was. What was that like for the last time for those guys, especially this class and what they've meant to the program? I think any time you take your jersey off for the last time or practice with your with your teammates, uh, you know you start to go through emotions. There's some clo you gotta get some closure. Uh, so we try and make that special for them at the end of practice a little bit, and, and it becomes an emotional experience for some of our guys. But, uh, you know those guys have been to the playoff game. They've been you know had some great moments here. So we're just looking for another life moment for them. Coach, you've been able to coach some really uh, talented quarterbacks in Connor Cook and Kirk Cousins. It's good. It's good. That's what it is. Is he's like, I know it takes 15 blows, <laughs> and then I lock that heat in. I get it. I lock the heat in. Then it's perfect. <laughs> what a weird guy. <laughs> what a great guy. What a spaz. Is he a spaz? Is that the word to describe Mike Leach? I'll give you another example, and then you could associate whatever word you want with. Bring it. it. Deal. Uh, Friendship. Yeah, I did have a pet raccoon. I would like to have a pet raccoon again. It's tough if you travel. Um, they're they're quite a bit more maintenance free than you would think. Um, they do like shiny objects. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I kind of would like to have a pet raccoon again. Um, but you know, bouncing uh, around the country it makes it tough. Um, and then you know, and then you just there's the time when they, you know, they hit. Uh, kind of raccoon teenage years and it's time for them to head off and uh, into the sunset. But no, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun and uh, in some ways, uh, you know, every bit as maintenance free as a dog or a cat, you know. <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> There's one more. Here's his take on weddings. When it comes to marriages, uh, the women lose their mind. Your fiance is going to lose her mind. Your mother-in-law is going to lose her mind. Your mom is going to lose her mind. They're going to barrage you with constant questions. What should we wear? And then, uh, which of course my answer was, I don't care. <laughs> but see, I don't care is not satisfactory at all. And you're going to get caught in a catch-22, and I'm certain that you already have. And that catch-22 is, well, I want you to be a part of this too. Uh, so what color invitations? Um, all right, the blue ones. Well, I kind of like uh, I kind of like the tan ones. Okay, the tan ones then. <laughs> oh, you're just saying that because uh, 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 you want this over. Well, you're not even thinking about it, which is of course true. Uh, <laughs> what do you want for dessert? I was thinking of strawberry shortcake. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, strawberry shortcake would be good. Well, what about the blueberry pie? Well, I like the blueberry pie. We could have the blueberry pie. Well, I thought you said you wanted the strawberry shortcake, <laughs> and it's just going to go back and forth, and they're going to play keep away from you until uh, after you're married. So what you need to do is you need to work late hours, go in the back room and read a lot of books, take the groomsmen out so you make sure that they march in just right and they know exactly, you know, these swell outfits that you picked out or whatever, however you're doing it. Um, and in the end, you'll wish you eloped, but uh, take comfort in knowing that uh, once the ceremony's over, um, that... Uh, you know, life will get progressively better from there, even though there's some adjustment. I just learned so much from Mike Leach. <laughs> None of it about football. Here's what I hope is true, though, okay. is that he's like that in practice. <laughs> Coach, what's our, uh, what are we gonna do in the big game against Great UW? Example. Well, first, uh, you know, you have to go out on a first date. What is the <laughs> date gonna be like? 
You know, you take her to dinner in a movie, is that too cliche? Right. Because dinner, by the time you're done with dinner, you're probably pretty sleepy because you got a lot of food in you, and then you're gonna go Right, to the a players are like, so up downs, is that what we're doing? <laughs> up downs, talk about a relationship, there's ups and downs. You get up in the morning, but when do you get up? When does she get up? You better have the same alarm, because if she's gonna get up later and your alarm goes off earlier, she's gonna be mad at you the rest of the day, and then when bedtime rolls around, you know you'll see it again. Hey, so coach, so do we need to do like sprints now around the sprint, track? Sprint, Verizon, you don't know. Make sure you're on a family plan though. <laughs> Choosing a family plan, that's difficult. That's not easy. <laughs> uh, is, but That'd Mike, be so funny if he picked it up like Trump and he like held, held it. Like. He's doing that. So he just doesn't like media appearances is what I take from that. He thinks they're just so ridiculous. That's what I hope. So he's having case. fun with the media? He's just like, why am I standing here? That's what his dead eyes are saying. It's like, <laughs> why am I standing here? I could talk about anything. In fact, I'm only allowed, I have to do a minimum five minutes of right. talking to you people. Right. So I'm gonna say every thought that I've had, I'm going to give you a lifeless monotone rendition of what is essentially a compilation of, of every stand up like 1990s comedians take on marriage. <laughs> I watched a lot of Everybody Loves Raymond, here's what I learned. <laughs> In-laws, they'll come over and complain. Should we get him a pet raccoon? Absolutely. Oh my god. Ah, From ah. like TYT Sports? Absolutely. Oh fuck, that'd be great. We want it. Seriously. At Brett Ehrlich, at Rick Strom, Mike Leach probably doesn't have Twitter. But wish him the best in the Fakakta Bowl. <laughs> <laughs>